I wish I could kind of like sit you maybe here. Maybe there. Will that work? Could work. Okay, so let's talk, you guys. I I don't even know what I'm gonna say. Like I just feel like I wanna do a bit of a chit chat vlog. We haven't really done that in a while. But I just want to let you guys know about this. So this came, this was gifted to me by Sunkist. Um, it came in this package here. I'll try and show you guys. It come in this package here. Um, and they sent me a little card as well that says, Hi Melissa. Basically, this product um, I'm trying for the, apparently I'm like one of the first people to try it, which I feel blessed that's amazing um so this is called the sun kissed hydrating jelly tan so it's so different like how is that a self tanner anyway i done a little instagram video yesterday and a few of you guys have been like oh that looks really good i've heard good things about it i woke up this morning and i was not expecting this i am so tanned Compared to my face, look how tanned I am. Like, look at that. Can you guys see that? Look how brown I am. Literally, it's like, let me see if I can look, look at the difference, because I've got foundation on, but look how brown I am. I'm so brown. I love this so much. So it takes four to six hours, is it four to six? yeah four to six hours um and you apply it like every two or three days to keep your tan built up when you first apply it nothing happens because it comes out in like a jelly form but after four to six hours after i've been to bed last night i woke up and i am so brown look how tanned i am i'm loving it absolutely loving it and i put it all over me it's everywhere and i'm so buzzing about it but the foundation I've got on is a little bit lighter. So I need to get a bit of a darker one. But um, this is such a good hydrate. This is such a good tan, you guys. I actually prefer this to the mousse. Because it's just not messy. Like, the mousse, I get it all over my hands. But look how even that is. Like, there's no patchiness. Not one single bit on my body is there patchiness. It's 95% natural ingredients. 0% parabens, sulfates pithylates silicones um, and it's for the face and the body and my one's in the medium shade the medium color imagine what the dark would be like oh my god so thank you so much sunkiss for sending me this over this is amazing and i love it i am not just saying that i love the fact that it comes out clear because it's like a moist it's like um a gel that you're putting on your body and you don't get that mark you don't get that brown stain on your hands or your clothes it's left no stains on my bed sheets nothing it is perfect i'm so impressed with this so impressed so i'm gonna link this down below for you guys um it is brand new so i will link it down below for you guys and i'll put the price up on the screen as well but I am super impressed with this. So thank you so much, Sunkiss. So that's one package that I've been sent. The other package I've been sent is by Dodo Lashes. And these are the lashes that they've sent me. They're the D119. And I actually really like these. These look really wispy. Um, so thank you, Dodo Lashes. I will be trying them. And then I think I've showed you guys, but just a few other products that... Well, I've been using that today, say all day. We know about that. <laughs> but I picked this up yesterday. This is the Argan Oil Hydrating Hair Mask. I've been using um, the conditioner for it. I've been using the conditioner. And I flipping, flipping love it. It's so good. It's made my hair so soft, especially at the ends and stuff. So I'm so happy about that. I uh, love it. Anyway, you guys. I don't even know why i feel this way but we've been i've been kind of experiencing well not really so obviously 
let's let's start from the beginning. Let's start from the beginning. So I am quite. I've been quite. I've realised I've been very hard on myself. Like I've been very hard on myself in the past week or so. No, I've been very hard on myself in the past two months. And I've realised that I'm actually not doing that bad. And I don't know what it is. I think it's made me realise that now I'm achieving my dreams and my goals, I'm not even, like, being proud of myself. I'm still... Why is it going blurry? Can we not? Thank you. <laughs> um, I'm still putting myself down. Why do we put ourselves down? I just don't know why we do it. If I was to say to another girl, I would not put another girl down, I would be like, you're pretty, you're beautiful, but to me, I'm like, this isn't doing well enough, you're not getting anywhere with this, you know, you need to do better on this, you're not good enough, and I just keep putting myself down. And I don't get it, because people are around me, are giving me all this like, well done, you're doing so well, but then I'm still like, no, I'm not achieving everything. I don't know, it's like it's like a surreal moment that these packages are coming through and I've not even sat down and thought to myself, wait, girl, you've done this. I have done this, I've made this for myself and I just haven't really been thinking of it like that. I've just been like taking the packages in and showing you guys, but I've not really sat back and thought, Melissa, this is what you wanted a year ago, this is what you want, you wanted to be on this certain brand, like make a revolution. I didn't think I'd be on their brand until 20,000 followers, but I've done it because of my hard work and I just haven't given myself, do you see what I'm saying? Like it makes sense in my head, but I just haven't given myself enough, like a well done. And I'm not being arsy, like I'm not bragging, I'm just saying that why do we continuously put ourselves down when we're actually doing really well? Like, why? I just don't, I just don't know why I do it, like, I just don't, I don't get it, I just don't know why I treat myself this way, but I really want to, I feel like I'm on a bit of a journey where I'm finding myself now and achieving stuff and I guess I'm so overwhelmed with all of these deals and stuff that I'm getting which I've been working hard for that I've just not even sat back and thought, well, Melissa, wait, you've, you've achieved something there. Like, you've done what you've always wanted to do. You should be happy with yourself. So I want to take a few moments on this video to just tell you guys, whatever you're doing, whether it's the same as me, blogging on YouTube, whether it's anything a job like trying to get a promotion driving anything like anything you're working towards don't be hard on yourself but when you do achieve it celebrate it like don't be like oh for me like I really want to get driving I, I just haven't bothered with it for so long I haven't put my all into it um and I know that once I get driving I, I've wanted it for so long but I know that once I get driving I'm probably just going to be like, okay, I'm driving. But then I've been years and years and years telling myself off, like, Melissa, you're crap, you don't drive, you should be driving, you're 24, like... But then when I'll get that, when I get that, I'll just be like, I'm driving. Like, you're not... I'm not celebrating it enough. Like, I should be celebrating these milestones. Like, a thousand is a big number for a small YouTuber. Getting on PR lists now, that a bigger is a big deal for me. The brand sponsorships I'm getting are big and, and I'm just not taking it in. <laughs> I just feel like I'm not taking it all in. I just, like my mum's like, wow, Melissa, like you're doing really well. And I'm like, am I? And like some people, some of you guys have messaged me saying, I remember watching you when you had like 50 subscribers and you, you know, you're, you're doing really well like as an influencer and you know, and I'm like, thanks, but am I? I don't see it, so I really want to start believing in myself more and I really want to start appreciating myself and being proud of myself, like, I just want to feel, I don't know, I guess I just want to feel 
confident in my own skin a bit more, like feel really confident and just think to myself for a minute, I've wanted this for so long. Like I want to grow my YouTube channel and I know that I'm not anywhere near that but I've wanted all of this for so long with my blog and just being able to earn and I've wanted that so why am I not buzzing off this like <laughs> I'm that passionate about it that I just chuck myself into my work and I'm not even thinking what have I just landed like landing a Panasonic blog post like I should be jumping up and down realizing that and I am thinking that now like how am I doing that but I'm just so passionate about it that I just want to make sure that I get my work done for you guys and, and get it out and so yeah I just I don't know it makes sense in my head so I just thought I would kind of speak to you guys about it but I just really want to I feel like this year is my year to do what I want I feel like I will get driving this year I feel like I will hit a milestone on YouTube this year I feel like there's a lot, I've got a lot of goals I want to get and I, I just it's like my driving instructor said if you're doing mock tests excuse me it's like my driving instructor said if you're doing mock tests and you get 14 mistakes and then the next lesson you get 14 and then the next lesson you get 14 you're not improving but I'm not doing that, I'm getting less and less and less. And he said, that's all that matters. He said, as long as you're getting less and less and less, that means you're improving. So you're learning, you're doing it, you're going to get there. So I just assumed that I would flatline. I assumed I wouldn't get all of this, what I'm getting. And I guess it's just very overwhelming. But I bloody love this so much. I literally wake up every morning crazy. I just want to check my emails. I just want to get my blog open get my channel open speak to you guys instagram i just love it it's like a different world for me and and i absolutely love it anyway let's talk about my scan <laughs> so i had my scan yesterday um i had my ultrasound so i've been telling you about my stomach and about what's been going on um and it's kind of settled down a little bit like i'm not in as much pain and it's not constant but i'm still getting pain but now and again so I've been to, I went to the hospital yesterday and I had my ultrasound and it bloody hurt me so much because she pressed the ball in so much into my stomach that I was just like, ow, it hurt because whatever's causing this pain, it, it, I'm so bloated that when you push on my stomach, it makes me feel sick and it's hurting. So... I had it and I looked at the screen and I saw all these things popping up and I thought, oh god, what is all this? And then I got my results back within two hours on my phone from my doctor saying no action required. So there's nothing wrong. They didn't find anything. So my doctor rang me this morning. I asked him to give me a call and he rang me this morning and he said that we're going to try you on a different medication. So what I'm starting to think is that it is something to do with a food that I'm eating or it's something to do with maybe irritable bowel syndrome. I don't know, but my God, it was painful, but it's like it's got better. So I don't know if it was, I don't know if it was originally gastroenteritis. Maybe my doctor's been right, but maybe I had a really bad case of it because I was sick. So... I just kind of feel like I've exhausted myself from going to all these doctors and begging for these met tests and stuff and then just thinking, do you know what, I think it could have just been gastroenteritis because it has died down, but the bloating will not go, the bloating will not go and the and the feeling of someone pressing on my stomach will not go, like I can't have Nala lay on me anymore, I can't have anything on my stomach, not even a pillow, it's that uncomfortable, so I just don't know what it is. I don't know, and, and no one seems to know. It's so annoying. Um, so, one second. Got so much work coming through, it's crazy. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> so, um, what was I saying? Yeah, about my stomach, so I really don't know what it is. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to show you guys these candles and things that I've got from Aldi something for my little oh hey 
I really want some of my little coffee table. So I've recently got this silver tray thing from eBay. I'll link it down below for you guys. It was really cheap. Um, I just really love it. And then I got this diffuser, reed diffuser. This is by Aldi and it's the number, what was it? 14. Number 14. It's so cute. The candle is number 18 and it's got like a two wick on it. How cute is that? I love them. You guys, I want to today, I've got a lot of stuff to do. Um, I've put down everything that needs doing. I also need to take some meter readings um, because we're having a little trouble with our meter downstairs. We're in a rented apartment, but we're having trouble with our meter. It seems to be running very, very fast and charging me extortionate amounts. So I have to do this for the next seven days, but I might get Liam to do it when he gets home, actually. Anyway, what was I going to say? Okay, so update. I want to... Well, it's very difficult for me because of my dog. Like, I am a blogger. I earn from my blog. But I want to save for a house. Like, I want to have a baby at some point. I want to save. I want to, I want to be financially ready and stable. So, I'm possibly going to be getting a part-time job on top of what I'm doing um, I'm still going to get the same amount of videos up don't you worry and I'm still going to make sure that everything doesn't change in that way but I don't know I don't know what to do just yet I don't know but um, anyway today I want to completely declutter my place my place looks really good like everything is good getting to where I want it to be like all the furniture is coming together and all the beat pieces are coming together but I just want to declutter. It's just a mess. It's so much crap everywhere. Um, Nala has not even come to say hello to me. She's been asleep under her blanket all day. Well, my blanket. So I've got this throw and she just sleeps under it. Nala? 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 You've been asleep all night and all morning. Now, do you think you should wake up? Come here. Go for a wee wee. Come sit with your mummy. Oh, don't get all my jumper ruined. Yes, I know. You're a big girl. Mummy's going to clean the hole. Thank you. No, we don't need to do that. Mummy's going to clean... Nala, be polite on camera. Mummy's going to clean the hole apartment today daddy's gonna be like what what's going on in here she's still tired like she's been asleep for about 18 hours you're lazy you're lazy my little cherry top you're lazy and more yawning Nala you're lazy look at my little polar bear joggers do you know what like when you're when you're working from home when you work from home that's the best thing is that you, as long as you're dressed here on the top part it don't matter about the bottom <laughs> the amount of vloggers that probably wear their pajamas it's crazy get up so i want to declutter the whole place today that's what i'm gonna do um i don't know what the time is uh so we are going to get this video up for today we're going to get this video up for today um, because I want to get this video up today and then I've got a makeup video, well kind of a makeup, it's, it's a cute little everyday running errands makeup video and that is going to go up on Thursday. So today you're going to have a vlog this one so I'm going to quickly run around the house, get everything get the flat sorted out, then I'm going to edit the video and get it up for 6 o'clock. Um, so I need to do the thumbnail, and that's it really, and then I've got a little bit of blog work to do. I need to do an Instagram post for Sunkissed with their tan, that I just showed you guys, they want me to do a post on it. Um, so yeah, it's only a little quick little vlog, but I thought we could just have a little chin wag, just be a little chill today, um, catch up and stuff, and... That's it. So I'm going to stop blabbing now because I've been going for quite a while. 
and I will see you in Thursday's video. Guys, make sure to follow my Instagram, um, my Twitter and my Snapchat. I will put them on the screen now because you can connect with me when I'm not uploading a video or you can connect with me. I always, always answer your DMs and your messages. So if you do want to speak to me, then just head over to my social medias. Snapchat is kind of where I am active the most. Like I like to talk to you guys over Snapchat. But also Twitter, I'm quite active. I'm, act I'm active on every one of them, really. But like, I like Twitter because you can really speak to people on there. Um, so, just tweet me, guys. <laughs> Love you. Bye.